what up, what up, and what up, y'all? It's your boy Moan back with another five minute cigar review. And today we are doing the uh, Tarano Exodus. Now, from my understanding, this is a revamp. Let me see if I can do it better this way a revamp of the Tarano Exodus 1959. I don't know very much about that cigar, so I can't give you any history on it, other than this is supposedly a revamp of that. Before I forget, let me remind you to like and subscribe and share the videos. I uh, could really use all of your support. Just a young brother trying to make it. Actually, a middle-aged brother. I'm no, I'm no longer young. Have been young for a while. Anyway, so this is the uh, Tarano Exodus. Please forgive me, the Tarano Exodus. It had a nice oily wrapper, but I kind of let it sit for a second while I was getting ready for this. But it's still not a bad wrapper, and it's packed nice and tight. As you can see, it's got a nice tight little ash. And we all know, because I've mentioned it before, and I'm going to mention it again, I love a tight ash. So, uh, a little bit about the cigar itself. It's a, uh, the wrapper is from Honduras. The <clears throat> binder, excuse me, the binder is a Connecticut broadleaf. And it's a mixed uh, filler with uh, Dominican Republic, Honduras, and uh, Mexico. It's got some Mexican tobacco in there. Not that wacky tobacco, but regular old tobacco. Anyway, let me stop being so overly silly. It's a damn good cigar. Uh, I used to really like Tarano when I first started smoking cigars, probably shit, somewhere between 15, 20 years ago. And I haven't had one for probably about 10 years. I kind of got out of them mainly because the cigar shop that I was going to stopped carrying them and I just didn't feel like going elsewhere <clears throat> elsewhere to get it and I wasn't buying a lot of stuff offline at the time. So picked this little baby up the other day, let it sit in the humidor for about a week and uh, now I'm smoking it and I'm quite satisfied. It gets the head nod. It gets the head nod. That ash is still looking pretty good. It's got a fairly even burn. As you can see, there's a little canoeing there, and uh, I'm not 100% sure what caused that. If I haven't told you guys before, one of my solutions for that is I'll blow into the cigar, and then I'll inhale, and it usually heats up that side that's canoeing, and uh, uh, makes it burn even. But sometimes, if I blow too hard, I'll blow that ash right off. So, let's see. As you can see, it's got a pretty good uh, volume of smoke there, which is usually good. And it's got good aroma. Oh, I forgot to mention the flavors, didn't I? Initially, when I first started smoking on this, hold on. When I first started smoking on this, I could definitely taste a little bit of that earthiness and that leather. And it's got a very subtle... Uh, spiciness to it. Now when I say spicy, I'm including all the spices. The red pepper, black pepper, white pepper, because as I've mentioned before, I can't tell the difference. It's just peppery. Maybe I'll start saying peppery instead of spicy. But it's definitely got that, but it's very subtle. It almost You almost don't even notice it until you've kind of toyed with that smoke in your mouth for a minute. I hope I'm not blowing too much smoke in your face. Uh, but yeah, it's got that spiciness, that peppery. Um, but it just, it's, it kind of lingers there. It's not, it doesn't hit you in the face, it just kind of lingers. Now, the one thing I was reading about it said there was uh, cinnamon. I don't taste cinnamon, but there is something almost citrusy or fruitful about it. Yeah not working today. I don't think it worked last time I tried to show you that. But anyway, something a little bit fruitful about it. But it's uh, got some pretty good flavors in there. Um, but they're all very subtle. Nothing that just smacks you in the face. You know, some cigars give you that, that spice that just pow right in the face. Or that savoriness of that leather or that coffee or chocolate. These are all very subtle flavors. Um, and 
Ooh, wait a second. Hold on. No, no. Wasn't anything. I thought I tasted maybe that cinnamon that they were talking about, but no, I didn't. So anyway, uh, picked up, pick up the uh, Taranio Exodus. Decent cigar, good cigar actually. Gets that head nod, and uh, it's got some good bold flavors. I think it's a medium to medium to full, um, and I've enjoyed it so far, except for that. Now it's starting to get a little worse, but I'm gonna work on it. All right, y'all. Y'all see me next time. Peace out.